see architectural people are very good friends of civil engineers right do you know what architectural guys do can anyone tell me what is the role of the architecture people in our industry Okay, someone saying interior designing planning planning okay see uh, we are having execution we are having this session both online and offline when compared to feasibility with online people you offline people are having more feasibility to just interact with me and get most out of me can tell whatever you know so far when it comes to our project you know uh, when we go to top you on the sea and the ground three players say for example three players the contractor yes or a owner and the architect see owner say i am the owner i want a building to get built on my site to whom i will go and contact architect. architect they are going to the people who gives us first design that is architectural design of yes. course if our site is very vast then surveyors will come into the picture if we are going for wood geotechnical people will come into the picture and on the other hand architect is there ready to give to give the result from the analysis of the site and the area and the requirements by the owner of course if i am the owner i will be telling my requirements right sir for example i want to construct one more building for cmta the cmta is a renowned training institute so we will be accommodating more students so i need classrooms the classrooms with the best world class interior design and the facilities the tables and the projectors and the computer facilities and all so the architect will be taking out all the inputs as per the client and will be giving the architectural design and on the other hand the electrical mechanical and fire protection the plumbing engineers all are there all will be able to work with the help of architectural design in our project on the top you one is there contractor is there architect is there architect is playing very very important role you know how architecture people gives design earlier they used to make a prototypes before prototypes on the sheets a plan which building comes where and what is the capacity of the building and how much area this building is going to occupy like that they design they are not going to much in detail about uh, what is the size of this beam what is the size of this column no not really that will be coming in the scope of structural engineer yes we will be talking more in detail about that and when it comes to beam and engineering here comes the actual part and the core part the engineer includes say for example we are sitting in a classroom this is having some facilities right can you tell me what are all the architectural elements visible here and the structural elements visible here structural yes structures are columns Two diamonds. okay walls wall thickness okay beams yes structural members beams Yes, and what about Thanks. electrical equipments or electrical services? Conduits. Yes, conduits, electrical services or equipments, you can say. Yes. Our lights, our fans, our projectors, our and our generators, all this comes under the scope of electrical people, right? Of course. say it is a medium sized classroom we are limited by facilities what happens when we talk about data centers data center you know right data centers are very big and some industrial buildings there 
scope of the electrical engines will be more and more. So many transformers, so many generators, so many electrical services. And when it comes to MEP systems, what are all MEP systems? And what do you see the scope of mechanical engineering people in our construction? See, the construction is about civil interior, the architectural people, generally people say. Then where these mechanical people are playing the role? Can anyone tell me? Okay, tell me wow, what is that machinery we are going to have in the buildings? Say, for example, take a residential project. Residential project. Yeah. What is the role of a mechanical engineer in our residential project? Motor. I already mentioned HVAC, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Uh, with the help of the data, how many number of people are going to stay in the facility? And what about the movement of the people? What about the load of their uh, exhaling or inhaling the carbon emission and oxygen intake in the building? They are going to take everything into account and they will do some calculations. That is called load calculations. So they are experiencing air conditioning here. How we are going to get that and how much amount of conditioned air we are going to get that? What happens if it goes more? What happens if it comes down? And these are all things comes under the scope of the mechanical guys, heating, ventilation and air condition. And electrical we already discussed and the plumbing, you know, without plumbing, we can't live in the facility, right? You are going into the kitchen, you are going in the toilet and you are turning on the cap. You should get the yes. water on the cap, right? What if yes. you are in between uh, activity in the washroom and you are not getting water? <laughs> uh, it's not good to imagine, right? Huh? There is a huge importance for each and everyone in this industry. That's why I call this industry as architecture, engineering, construction, and operations industry, and allied industry. There is a huge scope for the people. Let's move forward.